Hello, in this video I would like to show you how you can build internal links to new articles without the help of a plugin. You may want to build internal links to newer articles because in this way you will have SEO benefits. Google likes seeing internal links to, to articles. Also, if you build internal links to the article, it will help your article rank higher sooner. Also, it will help engage more, help in having more engagement to your website. Also, it will help decreasing your bounce rate. So, internal links is a very important part of SEO and having a better engagement in your website. In this video, I would like to show you how you can do this easily without the help of any any plugin. In your in WordPress, you you have also plugins that can help you build these internal links. There are some known plugins like Link Whisper. It has also a free version. Internal Link Juicer, same. It has free and premium versions. Regmat, it's also offering uh, some internal link suggestions. Yoast SEO, same thing. I have linked in this article on my, my blog their uh, official documentation. So you can also check them if you want to use a plugin. For my case, uh, I don't uh, want to use yet a plugin because a plugin can slow down your site. You can may have security issues. Also, most of them to do a good job, you need to, to pay money for them. So I would like to, to do this thing manually and have more control over how links are inserted in, in certain articles. Okay, to do this, we'll need to use uh, phpMyAdmin and we'll need to log into phpMyAdmin to have access to the database. So in the cPanel, you, you go on under phpMyAdmin and click on it. In uh, my hosting provider, I have it here. I open the phpMyAdmin for the website. I want to I want to build links. So you need to choose the database. In this case, this is the database for my UPDOS website, and you need to go to SQL. In here, we'll see a query that will help us search for a certain keyword in an article. So basically, this is the, the query. It's let me copy it and explain it there. Okay, select. So in so select post title, post name, GUID, and post type from UP Post, where lower it will make all the post content in lower cases. Like keyword, it's actually the word that you want to link. And Post status equal publish. So this query it will search for the keyword term. I will utilize in this case uh, wish list. For instance, I, I've written recently an article about best uh, wish list plugins for uh, WooCommerce, and I want to to link the wish list keyword to to this new article. So this is the article that I want to, to build links from older posts. So if we check like this, you will see that uh, <clears throat> you will have all the posts where this keyword is it's appearing. So in our case, the query returned the post title, post name, UID, which is the short links for the, for the article and the post type. So in case you have various post types there, you, you also have the possibility to choose in which to put the link. So I have only post in here. So for instance, if I want to, to check the best free WordPress backup plugins and uh, put the link there, I just need to go to this link. Okay. Then it will be, it will redirect me to the complete link. And then you just hit edit post. And in here, we'll need just to search for the 
keyword. So in here you see that wish list is in here, it's already linked. I will do another case, another search for you just to, to show you. For instance, I have uh, I want to link the article with uh, WooCommerce team. I have written an article with uh, best free commerce teams and I want all the keywords found to link them. So I've just replaced in the like statement WooCommerce team and I hit go. Okay. And in here I will have all articles that have the the WooCommerce team in, in them. So for instance, if I want to check this one, okay, I go to edit post. Here I have the classic, let's convert the block. This is an old post. Let's see if, uh, I'm gonna go back. Okay, let let the default thing because the if I convert this to blocks, it will mess up the things that I have. So I have it in in the tile. If I want title, so if I want to link it, I just go to insert a link and search for it. And I just added it like this and I hit update and then the link will uh, be utilized in this in this article. Okay, let's go and copy again. Okay, let's see. Here it is. You see that now the WooCommerce team keyword it's pointing to my uh, article with best free WooCommerce teams. So same things can be done also with Gutenberg editor that had the classic editor. For instance, in here, if we search for Merge team. I want to link it. I just hit this and search for. And hit update. So <clears throat> this is the easy way that you can search the whole articles for certain keywords and add menu links to, to them. You can uh, choose any keyword you, you like in here. 